Uh, my name is Kerry Beebe. I'm a harpsichord maker. I live in Sydney, Australia. And this is my Kirkman harpsichord from 1773. I was able to buy this at auction uh, about three or four years ago in London and it was in quite a neglected state. Uh, it was not playable, but the word neglected is very useful here because it hadn't, the instrument hadn't been uh, tampered with, it hadn't been destroyed, there weren't too many people who had had a go at it in its 243 year history, so the prognosis was very good. This is an exceptional instrument for uh, this age, 1773, if you think. The piano had already reached a degree of reliability, and so it was existing side by side with the harpsichord. It had been sympathetically restored in London uh, in 1970, and uh, we're very lucky that it retains almost all its original parts. The tuning pins are original, and many harpsichords of this age that might be playing now, the tuning pins have been ripped out and modern tuning pins put in with holes or holes drilled in the, in the old ones. The jacks, uh, they're beautifully made. There are a few makers then or now that built jacks of the same degree of precision. And they're all original jacks to this instrument, except four, which are also by Kirkman, but probably from another harpsichord. And uh, the bits that pluck the strings, they're cut from crow feather. Because the jacks are in original condition, uh, it's, it's wonderful, I've retained uh, using crow feather and boar bristle springs. The cloth, some of the cloths are 240 years old. The, the cloth and the leather layers at the end of the keys, the, the ivory keys of course are original, ebony sharps. A harpsichord is a machine. Uh, what happens from the player's point of view from one note to the next, it's got to be able to be uh, reproduced. You need a degree of consistency. Every note has to play every time. There's uh, 180 strings, there's 180 jacks, and uh, every one of those has to play flawlessly. And it was a special pleasure with, with this harpsichord uh, to find that it was possible to make it play perfectly, in fact. And it was, it was a shock, I think, to me that this instrument, when I'd finished working on it, plays better than most modern instruments I come across. They just don't make them like this anymore. Yeah. Certainly it helps to have a really top level player like Aaron. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the ultimate praise, I think, for an instrument maker because there's many long hours spent in isolation. The instrument really is only tested when, when it's really put through its paces by a player like Aaron.